Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn about AC through series RL circuit. So here we have considered a pure resistor and pure inductor got connected in series and this combination got excited with a sinusoidal voltage. That sinusoidal voltage V equal to, this is an instantaneous value, V equal to Vm sin omega t. Omega t can also be treated as theta. And this capital V is there, no? so this is the RMS value. This RMS value can be evaluated like uh, using the formula Vm by root 2. We have discussed uh, RMS value finding in both graphical method and analytical method in our previous videos. And if you want that video, you can find that the same video in the description. Okay, so please do verify if you want to. So now let us discuss uh, this concept. So because they were connected in series, okay, the current will be common for both the elements. But voltages, voltage drops, VR and VL. VR is the voltage drop across the resistor. VL is the voltage drop across the inductor. They were going to be different. But the common element for these two is the current. Okay. So VR, voltage drop across the resistor is IR using Ohm's law. And inductor is a reactive element whose reactance is XL. So, voltage across the inductor can be considered as IXL. Both R and XL will be in ohms. We all know that very well. Okay. So, whereas XL is nothing but omega L and omega is 2 pi F. I wrote it here already. This supply voltage is there, no? So, this voltage will be the resultant of VR and VL. So, that is nothing but the phasor addition. Let us discuss the same circuital conditions using phasor diagram. Because the current is common for both the elements, I have considered current as my reference. And because it is a pure resistor, voltage will be in series. It is a pure inductor, so it will maintain the angle 90 here. Okay, so the resultant of VR and VL will be your supply voltage V. So from the tip of VL, draw a line which is parallel to VR like this. And similarly, draw a line from this point in parallel with VL. It will intersect at one point. So join that point with the origin. So this vector will be your supply voltage. So, as you can see, these two triangles are similar triangles. So, these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. Okay. So, I am picking up this triangle. Okay. So, this triangle will be called as voltage triangle. From this voltage triangle, what we can write? So, uh, by applying Pythagoras theorem, this V square equal to Vr square plus Vl square. And then we, we may get V as root of Vr square plus Vl square. And we already know that Vr is Ir, Vl is Ixl. We can substitute like that. So with the simple simplification, you can get current I as out because that is common for both the terms. So leftover is root of R square plus Xl square. So this value is nothing but your impedance. I will tell you how you got this relation. So, let me pick up this voltage triangle like this here. Okay. So, this is your voltage triangle. So, this is Vr, this is Vl and this is V. Let me divide this voltage triangle with the current I. Okay. If we do so, this won't be uh, any more voltage. So, I am erasing this voltage terms. Okay. So, now I gets cancelled in all the three terms. The leftover here is R. So here is XL and here is the imprints and you are going to maintain the same phase angle phi as we have counted the phase angle here as phi. Okay. From this triangle, so impedance square is nothing but resistance square plus inductive reactance square. So from this, we can say that the impedance is root of R square plus XL square. So, this relation can be reflected here. Okay. So, V equal to IZ we may write. Okay. So, this is the voltage triangle. Let me consider the voltage triangle again. Okay. This is your VR. 
this is your VL and this is your V making an angle of 5. Okay, so now multiply this voltage triangle with current I. Okay, so this power will be called as a real power. This power will be called as a reactive power and this power will be called as the apparent power. Okay, so and uh, to get the relation for P not in terms of V I, uh, I into VR. So if you want to uh, derive that in a standard uh, notations that uh, everywhere been observed. So what we can do. So instead of writing this V in uh, I into VR, let me call this side as P, this side as Q, this side as S V I. Okay, nothing but V. You can consider V I here. So on this side, you consider only Q. On this side, you consider only P. So this angle is Five. Let me uh, put the names for the points O, A, B. So from this triangle, what is cos phi? Cos phi is adjacent that is O, A by hypotenuse that is O, B. Okay. So what is O, A? O, A is P. I told you, you know, assume that as P by O, B. You assume that as V, I instead of S. Okay. So it is VI. From this P is unknown for us. So P will be VI cos phi. This is the standard notation for the real power. And similarly, if you can consider sin phi, okay. So if you can consider the sin phi, so opposite side that is AB by OB. Okay. AB is nothing but Q reactive power by VI. So, from this relation, Q will be Vi sin phi. So, the unit for the power, real power is watt. And the unit for the reactive power is old ampere reactive. Okay. So, this is how you need to uh, relate the voltage relation, impedance relation and then power relations and from this triangle only the apparent power can be considered as like this by simple Pythagoras theorem you can write like this so s equal to root of p square plus q square okay so this apparent power is there no so this is a product of voltage and current so unit will be old ampere okay